Hey guys, we're Data Gamer here, and this is a request for a alarm clock sort of style um, in Visual Basic 2010. I will insert the name of the guy who requested this tutorial like right about here. Anyway, the basis of this tutorial is to show you how to really um, focus more on the time style for Windows format instead of um, focusing more on um, preservations that you can use inside of Visual Basic itself. And I figured it would be good, and I didn't make a Visual Basic tutorial in a while, so this looks good. So, let's start off by what you need. You can need, you need at least two labels and two text boxes, or you can just use four labels. I just choose, choose text box. And what you need to do is in one text box, you need to make um, read only to true. And then in one text box, um, set the time to 0, colon, 0, 0. And then, um, on the two labels, place them right above the text boxes and put <clears throat> current time and alarm time. And then insert one timer and put the interval to 100 or 1. It really, really doesn't matter. I'm just going to use 100. Um, 1 would probably be more accurate, but I don't really care. So into the coding, okay, what you're going to need first is when the form loads, you can put timer one dot start. It'll start the actual timer. And what you want to do is if date time dot now dot hour dot two string is less than twelve, then okay, I'm gonna break this up. This is saying if the current date of the system time, the time itself, meaning down in the bottom right corner, um, if the hour, which is right now six o'clock, is great is less than twelve, then the text box, the first text box, is gonna say date date time dot now dot hour dot two string and the two string is basically I didn't really cover strings and arrays yet but strings are basically bytes of like uh, I don't know text I to put it simply but you cannot convert um, non string stuff into strings you have to it has to be strings so that's why you have to always keep putting the two string so you know it will know to export as a string so the hour, and then put an end sign, then inside parentheses colon, and that's going to tell it to put the actual colon in between the th the numbers, and then date time dot now dot minute dot two string. So you can see where this is going. It's actually going to say the hour, then a colon, then the minutes, and then else. So this is saying if it's greater than twelve. The only reason you have to do this is because it's going to use a 24-hour clock, and unless you're going to want to read that by yourself, you know, you might want to put the sign of coding in. So if it's greater than 12, it's going to say dim time as string, which is, you know, a string, as I just said. So it's going to uh, create the, the time as a new string. Time is going to equal date time dot now dot hour dot two string, which is basically the current time, which if it's over 12 hours, it's going to, of course, going to be above 12 hours, which is uh, a 24 hour clock, minus 12, and that's how you convert, you know, 24 hours into um, standard time. Just subtract 12 if, if it's over 12 hours. So the the string time is actually going to be um, the time of the hour if it's past uh, 12 o'clock. So what we can do now is text box one dot text equal time, which is of course the hour, then the colon, then the minutes. So the only reason that this chunk of coding is is to decode that 24-hour clock into regular hours. Then we can end that, and now this is where it's gonna, um, you know, you can edit stuff out. If te text box two dot text equals text box one dot text, then timer one dot stop. Basically, the reason why I want to put this first is because it will keep repeating this if you don't. So yeah. Anyway, so if the text in the second uh, text box is exactly the same as the, uh, the current time in the first text box. Then timer one dot stop, so it's going to stop everything first, and then it's going to play an audio file. I'm going to get to this in a second. Then message box test, you can change to whatever. Um, wake up, stupid. Uh, you can change this text to whatever. You can even take this line out, but. 
what you have to do here is right after the timer, you can put an audio if you want. Um, you can put like an alarm sound file, but you can change anything after it. So if you if you want to get creative, if you want to get creative, just edit anything um, that will like show you something, play something, or change something. You know, you can just get creative here. Then, as for the audio, now look at this um, line of coding: my computer dot audio that play. So this part right here. Is telling it to play an audio file. My resources dot techno music audio play mode background. So the audio um, mode is going to be on the background, and the resources dot techno music I'm going to get to in a second. So what you want to do to add resources? I didn't really go over resources, but over here under um, the name of your project, double click on my project, and it'll open up this. So usually you open up an application. On the left hand side over here, click on resources. Click on add re no don't click on add resources. Click on the arrow next to it. Click on add ex existing file. Then browse for a WAV file. You can't use MP3 unfortunately. And I have uncopyrighted music right here in WAV format. So I'll just click that, and then it's going to add that as a resource. And since this is a WAV, it's a playable audio file. And back to the coding, uh, my resources music is basically saying to play that WAV file. So if we go in and test this, we can easily see that it's, well, yeah, that screwed up a little bit. But you get the concept. It's going to show the exact time. So if you put 7 colon 0, it's going to say wake up stupid and also play that music file, which I might have my music muted, but one second. See, it's, it's playing fine. So that's basically how that that works. Um, there's not really anything else that I have to explain except you know that little fuck up with the time if it's on the exact zero, which I think that should be fixed. If no, okay, it's not gonna play nice. Anyway, you get the concept. It's a really you know easy concept, but it's you know it's pretty basic. <laughs> Um, you can, you can if you want to fix that for me. I didn't test this, but you can do another if then else command if you're actually willing enough to actually try to fix this coding. But this is just really fast video that I'm trying to make to get it out. So that's how you make this sort of half working alarm clock, I guess. And remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos.